Tired of random lag spikes or stutter ruining an otherwise smooth game? One day it's fine, the next lag city. Well, there's a hidden Windows process that could be behind it, quietly running in the background, even if you've never used Xbox Game Bar. And today, we're going to kill it, along with another system feature that silently eats memory and CPU. These two tweaks are simple, clean, and can reduce micro stutter across many games. Tweak 1. Disable Game Bar Presence Writer. Even if you've disabled Xbox Game Bar in Windows settings, Game Bar Presence Writer.exe, a separate background component, still runs. It's part of how Windows tries to enhance gaming, but ironically, it does the opposite. What it does. This background process monitors game state and can interface with overlays or recording features, even when unused. It's known to introduce micro stutter, slight input delay, and frame timing inconsistencies in some games. Many users report smoother gameplay simply by killing it. Let's walk through two clean ways to do that. Method one, registry tweak, stop it from launching. This is the safest and most invisible way to disable the Game Bar Presence Writer process without breaking anything else in the system. Step by step, press Win plus R on your keyboard. Type Reg Edit and hit Enter. If prompted by UAC, click Yes to allow changes. In Registry Editor, navigate to the following key. In the right pane, look for a D word named App Capture Enabled. If it exists, double click it and change the value from one to zero. If it doesn't exist, right click in the blank area of the right pane. Select New, D word 32-bit value. Name it App Capture Enabled. Double click it and set the value to zero. Optionally, Navigate here and do the same. Repeat the same steps to ensure it's disabled at the user level, too. This tells Windows, do not try to activate Game Bar Presence Writer, even silently in the background. Now close RegEdit. You're done. The process won't auto-inject anymore during gameplay. Method 2. Rename the executable Hard Disable. This ensures the Game Bar Presence Writer can't execute at all, even if something tries to launch it directly. Steps. Open File Explorer. Navigate to C. Windows. System 32. In the search bar, top right, type GameBarPresenceWriter.exe. Once it appears, right-click the file. Select Properties. Go to the Security tab, click Advanced. At the top, click Change next to the Owner field. In the box that opens, type your username or Microsoft account email. Click Check Names to confirm, then click OK. Click Apply, then close all dialog boxes. Go back to the Properties window Security tab, click Edit, Select your user from the list, check Full Control, then click Apply and OK. Now, right-click the file and rename it. Game Bar Presence Writer underscore disabled.exe. Done. This prevents the file from ever launching. No registry, no background service, no unnecessary CPU activity during gaming. Want to undo it later? Just rename it back to GameBarPresenceWriter.exe. Nothing is deleted. Optional rollback. If you ever want to bring back Game Bar Presence Writer for Xbox Game Bar functionality or just to test the difference, here's how to fully reverse the tweak. Option 1. Rename the file back. Locate the file GameBarPresenceWriter underscore disabled underscore dot exe. Right click, rename, change it back to Game Bar Presence Writer dot exe. If you get a permission error, right click the file, Properties, Security, Advanced, set yourself as Owner, and ensure 
full control is enabled for your user account. This allows the system to execute the file again. Option 2. Restore Registry Entry. Press Win plus R. Type Reg Edit. Navigate to on the right-hand side, find App Capture Enabled. Double-click it, set the value back to 1. Close the Registry Editor. This re-enables background game DVR support and allows Xbox features to hook into games again. Option 3. Use System Restore if you created one. If you previously created a restore point before making changes, you can roll back all modifications file permissions, registry entries, etc. in one step. Press Start, type Restore. Click System Restore from the search results. Choose Restore my computer to an earlier time. Select your restore point, example, Pre-Game Tweak Setup. Click Next and follow the instructions. Warning, this will also undo other system level changes made after that restore point. Tweak 2. Disable memory compression for real-time performance. How to check if it's currently enabled. Let's confirm if memory compression is running. Press Control, Shift, and Escape to open Task Manager. Go to the Performance tab. Click Memory on the left. Look for the line that says, In Use, 6.3 GB, slash Compressed, 950 megabytes. If you see compressed memory, it's active and possibly impacting performance during fast memory allocation and deallocation cycles. How to disable memory compression safely? Let's do it the clean and reversible way. Step-by-step -step guide. Press Win plus X or right-click the Start menu. Choose Windows Terminal Admin or PowerShell Admin. In the terminal window, type or paste the following. Disable MM Agent minus MC. Press Enter. This disables memory compression, flag minus MC. It does not affect other memory manager agent features. Now restart your PC to apply changes. That's it. No registry hacks, no permanent system modification. Just a clean PowerShell toggle. How to verify that it's turned off? You can check the current memory agent status with this command, get mm agent. It will return something like memory compression false. If you see false, it's off and no longer compressing memory in the background. You can also reopen task manager, performance, memory, and verify that the compressed value no longer appears under memory usage. How to re-enable memory compression, optional. Changed your mind or want to test A-B performance? Open PowerShell as administrator. Run this command. Enable mmagent-mc. Then reboot your PC again. To confirm it's active, get mmagent. Look for memory compression colon true. That's it. Two small but powerful tweaks that can genuinely make your PC feel snappier in games. They're easy to apply, completely reversible, and come with zero risk to your system stability. If it helps you, drop a comment. If it doesn't, let's troubleshoot it together. And if you want more tweaks like this from registry to GPU settings to network fixes, subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.